Hey, it's Alex with your Biz Tank, and I just got an email from Pinterest, and I decided to record this video because I'm really excited about this thing that they're launching. Um, basically, you know, when we are using Pinterest to market any business, um, you want to know what's working and what's not, right? What well, that goes for any social site, anything that you're posting, you want to know how many impressions you have, you want to know how much web traffic that's, you know, driving you, you want to know, you know, how many likes or how how effective was that that post so essentially we're kind of carrying that over into Pinterest and we've been looking for a tool to kind of do this for us to analyze our pins how effective are our pins so Pinterest I just got this email and I'm really excited that they are finally launching Pinterest analytics. So this kind of goes along with a, a new look as well. So what I want to kind of walk you through right now is how to get analytics and get the new um, Pinterest look launched on your site. So I'm actually logged into my personal Pinterest account because I actually already have the setup on your biz tank. So I wanted to show you how to set it up if you don't have some of the missing pieces in order to fold launch the new site and the analytics piece to Pinterest so first obviously you need to log in the next thing I want you to do is hover over your name on the right hand side and click on the bottom there should be a new option that says switch to the new look once you click on that a little pop-up will come up and say you know welcome to the new look just click OK and you can always switch back to the old look. But do you see how the pictures just kind of pop a little bit more? That white border around all the pictures is gone. So the pictures have a little more life to them. They've got, um, they're just more quality and they kind of stand out. It's just a richer picture look, if you will. Okay, so once you do that first step, um, you know, some of you might not have access to this yet in their email they just said get early access to you know the Pinterest new look so hopefully everybody can do this um, but basically that's easy step one right okay step two is to actually go to your um, profile and what you need to do is verify your account um, verify your website I'm sorry so basically make sure your website is plugged in this is um, my personal website here but you'd have your website you know plugged in here um, if it does not have a check mark next to it, that check mark basically signifies that it's a verified website. Um, it's just you know Pinterest's way to show that you are you know a legit company. Your pins are coming from a legit place, that kind of a thing. So they just are kind of verifying that you are a credible source. So to do that, go ahead and click on the little. Um, the little pencil that I just clicked on there. Um, and at the bottom, this is where you would adjust your location, your information, your username, your, you know, your quick link. Um, and then this is where you plug in your website and then click verify website. And before, you know, you had to upload this, um, specific um, HTML file to your hosting site and all of these things that you know for us people I mean I I'm pretty tech savvy but I have no idea how to function you know how to create a website in that way so it was kind of a little over my head you might be sitting in the same position as I am so this is an easier way they I just noticed this the other day that they are allowing you to verify your website with a meta tag and this this I can do it's just literally copying and pasting this into the back door of your site so this is where if you ever add like Google Analytics that special HTML code back in the back door maybe you have um, a plugin of some sort maybe you have you know that like button from Facebook you had to plug in some HTML coding somewhere essentially this is the same thing all you have to do is copy this and then plug it in right where it's asking you to so it says add this meta tag to the head or the index of the index HTML file um, or somewhere along that line this is the same exact thing that Google Analytics will ask you to do so there's somewhere in your settings um, where you can adjust the SEO or adjust your Google Analytics kind of go and searching in that direction that might help you find it a little bit easier where to plug this in but wherever basically I'm gonna tell you wherever you plug in your your Google Analytics uh, plug this in right next to it again it goes in the same spot um, just 
around where the heading is, where it's telling you right here. So hopefully that works for you. So I'm gonna kind of switch gears because I don't um, want to show you here. Um, I just wanted to show you where what the steps were to get you know to that verifying piece. But once you do, let me actually log out and log back in. Um, give me one second. Okay, so once you log in, um, or once you verify your account, you're gonna see something like this. Um, it's gonna have that check mark there, just like this. This little circle check mark, that's what you're looking for. So once you have that verified, it took me, you know, two seconds copy and pasting, and then, you know, refreshing my website, pushing it live, and then coming back to Pinterest and, you know, clicking OK, and then it, you know, just had this check mark here, this exact screen. So very, very cool, very easy. So once you have that done, that's step two. Step three is to just literally come over to your drop down menu where you can see your pins, your boards, add a pin. You're going to see analytics pop up here. Very, very cool. Now we don't have any yet because I literally just uh, launched this about five minutes before I started recording this video. But you know, once the you know Pinterest kind of connects with your site, connects with your pins, it's gonna start to pull up all of these things. And I cannot wait to see these results because we've been helping you know other agents kind of test out their Pinterest strategies. Now we're really gonna be able to dive in a little bit deeper to the analytics. Um, Google Analytics is a great tool for any website analytics, but this. This is actually going to take it a step further and go to your pins. You know, the most repins, the most clicked, the most recent pins that you posted, all of that stuff is going to be here. And I cannot wait to see this um, actually come to life and unfold. So if you have any questions about what I just showed you, um, pause it, rewind it, watch it over and over. Um, and then always, you know, you can contact us and let us know. Drop a comment below this blog or below this video and we'll help you out in any way that we can. But start exploring the new site. It definitely looks a lot different. It looks a little more richer. It's just a little bit better. I really feel like Pinterest is trying to work in the way, you know, towards helping businesses utilize their site. I mean, this is how a lot of businesses get traffic get consistent traffic, get good traffic, and even sell a lot of good things too. Just the other day, we had a real estate agent tell us that she sold her listing from Pinterest. Um, you know, she pinned a picture of her listing, somebody found it and said, oh, hey, you know what, we're looking in this city, and contacted her, and she sold it both sides from Pinterest. Awesome, right? So try it, test it out, use the new site, use the new analytics, and see what you can get from it. And let us know. We always want to know what you've gotten from Pinterest. Um, if it's a lot of traffic, it's a lot of exposure, if it's actual a closed deal, which is awesome, um, let us know. And I'll see you on the next webinar, on the next video, and at yourbiztank.com. We'll see you later, guys.